In this video we're going to look at exponential functions. We'll do examples 4 and 5 on populations. Example 4, a population growth. So we've just looked at money, now we're just we're looking at populations. Population of a town, let's say, so a village. A population is 800, let's say people, or or whatever. It could be could be um, anything. It could be butterflies. It could be deer on a field, or cows, or or anything. If a population is 800 and it grows by 3% each year, first question is: Explain why the population is an exponential function of time. Any idea? Go back to the definition. First thing we wrote down was exponential functions change at a constant percentage rate. What does that mean? This is an exponential function because it changes by 3% each year. Why is the population an exponential function? Because it changes um, by a constant percentage rate or percentage each year. Even simpler. It changes by a constant percentage each year. Now that could be also something, if something changes by a constant percentage each month or each day, that's also exponential. It doesn't have to be every year, but every unit of time. Find a formula for the population at any time. Press pause and try that. Any time, why don't you use the letter T? Does that make sense? You can use any letter you like, but let's use T for time. It's kind of simple, right? Hope you press pause and tried it. You got to start with the amount. Okay? So if you're thinking about number of years and thinking about population, you know, well, let's put it this way. If it was three years, wouldn't you go 800 times 1 plus, oh, sorry, uh, 8 years, sorry. If it was 8 years, wouldn't you go 8, ah, my numbers are bad. If it was 2 years, 2 years, wouldn't it be 800 times 1 plus 3 percent? What's 3 percent is the decimal? 0 0.3. Isn't it? 3 hundredths plus 0 0.03 to the power of 2, right? So it's asking you, after t years, what is the population? 800 times 1 plus 0 0.03 to the power of t. Okay. Determine the population size after 20 years. Press pause and do that. Calculate it, see what you get. Okay, I'm going to do it now. We take the initial amount. Again, you can just write memorize this formula if you like. Amount times 1 plus percentage rate to the power of t. Okay? So we take our amount, we multiply it by 1 plus the percentage rate, 3% is 0 0.03, then put it to the power of 20. Calculate that. You can just write it out as one line or just take it step by step. If I do it step by step, I get 800 times 1.03. I hope you, and by the way, press, oh, 20. By the way, press pause and continue this if you haven't done so yet. Did I just say that already? Sorry. Then we get, so we've got 800 and we calculate this guy. 1.03 to the power of 20, or to the power of uh, 20. And that's 1.806, blah, 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 blah. Multiply it by 800, and we get so so 1.806.1112. Let's say you could take all of that, and you should get 1444.88 something something something. <laughs> now, this is a population of things like, uh, you know, people. Can you have 0.88 of a person? No. Right? So you kind of round this to the nearest whole number. 
because it might be a population of butterflies and you can't have 0.88 of a butterfly so you round to the nearest whole number 1445 okay 1445 after 20 years so if a population starts at 800 grows by 3% every single year after 20 years the population will be this okay almost getting close to double right here's something that was in the news uh, on September 2013 Canada's population was estimated at this number about 35 million an increase of this number about 400,000 over the last year what is the percentage growth rate over the past year press pause and try that really quickly and watch out for mistakes on this won't be press pause and tried it what we want is to calculate to get the percentage growth growth we want the change over the original or initial amount now this original amount was what the population was in September 2012 if you read it, it says an in this is an increase of this amount over the last year. That means it's an increase of that amount since September 2012, right? Now the change, of course, is an increase by 404,000. But what was the original amount? Because this is what it is after the increase. So watch out for questions like this you gotta be careful what it was originally is what this 400,000 less than this so we actually have to do this we have to take the 35 million 158,300 and subtract 404,000 to get what it was originally which was the population in September 2012 so simple question but just watch out for things like that right Okay. Thirty five one five oh one five eight three hundred minus four oh four thousand and we get three four seven five four three zero zero. Now this is the percentage change. So the percent change equals the change, the actual, the absolute change, or the actual change over the original amount, which is this over this, which is, calculate that, press pause and do it if you want, but 404,000 divided by 34, 754, 300, press enter. 0 0.01162 blah 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 0 0.01162 etc that's a decimal we want to write that as a percent turn the decimal into a percent give it a percentage to the nearest you know um, a, per a percentage with two decimal places how about that so to turn it into a percent, we move the decimal point two spaces to the right, don't we? So that gives us 1.1, one, and let's go as far as 1.16, right? We'll just we'll just round it to there, percent. Okay. So the increase over the last year in this Canada's population is 1.16 percent. Now do this question. If this rate stays constant, what would you estimate the population to be by September 2025? Press pause and do that. Okay, I'll help you now. Uh, if you haven't forgotten, you can use the formula, which is take the amount, multiply it by 1 plus the rate, to the power of t, which is the time. What amount are we going to start with? We could start with what it was in 2013. 
135,158,300. So that would be the amount. Times 1 plus, what's the rate? And again, when you're calculating, you want to put your rate or your percentages as decimals. So what's 1.16% as a decimal? 0 0.0116. Six, isn't it? Because you move the decimal point back two spaces to the left again and stick in a zero, right? How many years? 2025, and don't forget that this number I'm using is 2013. Now you could use the 2012 number that you calculated, but you would, your years would change as well to correspond with it. But in 2013, that was the population of Canada. How many years? from September 2013 to September 2025. If you want to make sure you don't make a mistake on that, why don't you just subtract? 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 20 minus 20 is 0. So the answer is that's 12 years, isn't it? And then calculate that. And again, if you use the 2012 uh, population you would have to say 13 years because it would be 13 years since 2012. It's only 12 years since 2013. Anyway you could just do this as well and everything would be fine. Okay so what we're going to do is calculate this so we got 35,158,300 and you can do this step by step add these guys and put it to the power of 12 if you want to. So that would be 1.0116 to the power of 12. Of course, if you just write out as a one-line entry, you're best of all. That's best of all. And once again, don't forget the the hat symbol gives you the exponent on a calculator. Watch out for that button on your calculator. Anyway, so we get this times 1.148433 um, I guess, should we put it all in? Nah, that'll probably do. That's what's that? One, two, three, six decimal places. If you can use the whole thing even better and just press multiply by three, five, one, five, eight, three hundred, press enter. And um, the answer I'm getting is four, oh, three, seven, six, nine, uh, six, nine point one, two. But we're talking about what does this number represent, by the way? Put our one, two, three, put a comma. One, two, three, put a comma. Forty million three hundred seventy six thousand nine hundred sixty nine people in Canada. Oh, sorry, point one two. Hold on a second. Can you have point one two of a person? What does that look like? What's point one two of a person? What part of the person would you keep? Point one two? Maybe the brain? There's point one two of a person. So my point is when you're working with uh, real life things like people, you kind of should round your answer to the nearest whole number, don't you think? You can't have a decimal part of a person, right? So approximately 40,376,969. If you were to round that to the nearest 100,000, what would that be? Write it down. Round that to the nearest 100,000. Okay. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, hundred thousand. We have a seven occurring here. We must round up so that this digit becomes a four. So it's forty million four hundred thousand, right? If you're asked around to the nearest hundred thousand. So watch out for rounding.